Hello, I am Pearl Akanyo Fori. In today's edition of City News Daily on City TV, the flag bro of the All People's Congress, Hassan Ayarika, says he would go to court again over his disqualification from the December 7th poll. Details of the story, right here. In our first top story, the disqualified presidential hopeful of the All People's Congress, Hassan Ayarika, says he would go to court to seek justice over the Electoral Commission's decision to disqualify him from the presidential race for the second time. Now, Hassan Ayariga, who was first disqualified together with 11 others, failed to meet the set criteria again, despite a Supreme Court order which gave him another opportunity. At a press conference today, he served notice of his plan to resort to the court to seek justice. He also called on the EC chair, Madam Michelle Otose, to resign for committing what he terms the worst mistake ever made in the history of Ghana. 97.3 City FM, relevant radio, always. We can now go to the voting region because the Progressive People's Party's parliamentary candidate for the South Dai constituency, Felix Lati, and his supporters are believed to have attacked some students and teachers of the Kweve Senior High School in that region. This was after they were prevented from campaigning on the school premises this morning. The assistant headmaster of the school, Mike Ajay, explained that the supporters subsequently forced their way into the school against advice from authorities that they were disrupting academic work. However, the PPP's parliamentary candidate for the South Dai constituency, that's Felix Lati, rather blamed the teachers for the confusion. According to him, they instructed the students to pelt his campaign team with stones. Now, meanwhile, the police have started investigations into the matter. Renew the mandate of President John Dramani Mahama in the December polls. Well, this is a plea coming from the Chief of Staff Julius Debra to Zongo chiefs in Kofodia in the Eastern region. According to the Chief of Staff, it will be unfair to make President Mahama a one-term president when all other presidents were allowed eight years in office. The Chief of Staff also argues that the numerous developmental projects and the President Mohammed's leadership in just one term in office should be enough for the President to be given another term. So today, President John Jamani Mohammed paid a working visit to some key constituencies in the Greater Accra region to inaugurate some government projects. He was at the Dadekotopon constituency where he inaugurated the Gold Coast refinery around the airport area. He then inaugurated a community day school in Frafraha in the Adenton constituency and another one in the Dome Kwabenya constituency. Second image international admissions in progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy and fashion. Call us 10243. 331 Evening and weekend classes are also available. That's how we wrap up today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. I am Pierre Lacanya Furi. Thanks for your time.